The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. When you gotta go, you gotta go. But what happens when you go without even thinking about it? And the inability to regulate how much and how often starts to take a toll on your life. This is Shannon's story. It all started about seven years ago. I would leak some urine every time I would cough or cry or laugh or sneeze. And in the beginning, I thought it was just part of having a kid. I went from wearing a panty liner here and there to wearing a pad every day. I went to my gynecologist and she said that I had a prolapsed uterus. It could be corrected with surgery. However, my insurance wouldn't cover me for such a procedure. I tried everything else that I could. Cranberry extract, Kegel exercise, weights, nothing seems to work. It's gotten to the point where I end up changing my pad about six or seven times a day. Even the slightest pressure on my bladder makes it leak, whether it be walking upstairs, getting in and out of the car, lifting things. I always make sure I have a change of underwear, a change of shorts, my pads with me. Sometimes it's not enough and I end up leaking through the pad through my shorts, so I end up tying a sweatshirt around my waist. Now I just don't have the desire to go out anywhere. I've had to leave work early. I'd be hanging out with friends and I'd sprung a leak and then I realized that I could have left a wet spot on their car seat. It's so embarrassing, I can't handle it. My husband of 13 years and I have just become distant and he tells me it makes no difference, but it does to me. I just don't feel like he's attracted to me anymore. I just feel like people look at me like I'm an old lady. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to deal with it for the rest of my life. What might be causing her extreme incontinence that Shannon says has left her desperate for any kind of answers? We sent her to urologist Dr. Faisal Ahmed to hopefully find out. Hi, I'm Hi. Dr. Ahmed, nice to meet you. Well, let's figure out what you're here for and get you feeling better. The feeling of a full bladder is when I'm sleeping. Actually wake me up out of my sleep sometimes, like I'll even have a dream that I have to go to the bathroom and it wakes me up to go to, go to the bathroom. That's the only time I feel like I have to go. That's a good point. How often do you wake up though? Um, probably like three or four times throughout the night. And has anyone ever put a camera inside your bladder? No. What do you think about doing some of these tests right now? Sounds good, let's go do it. We're gonna get started here, okay, Shannon? And now you're gonna feel some pressure. You will feel like you wanna pee, Shannon, that's okay. And we're gonna have you cough, then we're gonna see how much support there is and see if there's any leakage that occurs. <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling your bladder, okay, so pretend you're watching TV. Let me know when you get that first sensation where you could go, but you could wait for the commercial. Okay. Now pretend you're like driving in Vegas and you really need to pull over. Okay. Oh yeah, I really have to go. That's pretty much the end of it. So next time we talk, we should hopefully be able to go over some potential solutions and treatments for you. Great, thank you. 